Hi hey everyone, today myself Rajinder Meena, Solution Specialist in Civil 3D from Capricor Technologies. We bring you weekly insights on how to create a connected alignment in Civil 3D. Uh, Capricor Technology of Vinjiro company and partner of choice for EEC Industries, one of the biggest clearing partner of Autodesk, uh, along with Authorized Training Center. We have 300 plus dedicated team members with the client age over 20,000 in EAC and associate industries. Uh, today, weekly insight, I will cover three uh, points. One is how to create an alignment, then uh, offset of the alignment, and then finally we learn how to connect the alignments. <clears throat> so first I just, uh, what to do is just create the surface. So for that, I just create quickly uh, to import the data. giving a name of surfaces EGL. Okay, <laughs> so I just create the surface EGL. Now I'm just creating a one alignment. giving this alignment name one I just create a one random alignment here and again I just create the another one alignment two. Uh, suppose that this one is started from here and uh, intersecting someone here and it's going towards this side. Okay, so let me turn off this. I don't want right now this one. Okay. Just create after that, uh, like we created two alignments and now I just want to create the offset of this alignment. So for that, uh, just go to in alignments, create offset alignments, select the alignments and giving the uh, width on the left side and the right side. So I'm giving the random like three, three on the left side and right side and the number of lanes also. So I'm just giving the one, one lane Similarly, on the another one. Sit. <clears throat> right now, I just want to connect this one. Here is a curve. This one to this one and this one to this one. How we do that? So I just want to connect this. So there's one options here is how to create a connected alignments. So I just select this one. It's asking like select the first alignment. So I want to select this and the second one, then the directions and just click enter. After that, it asking you <clears throat> uh, like the design criteria you can select and then parameters in this parameters, you have two options either you just want to uh, create uh, less than 180 degree curve or more than and here also curve types, you can select whether you want a circular fillet or spiral curve spiral. So it's up to you like what kind of, uh, you know, uh, curves you uh, want to add here. So let us say spiral curve spiral I'm going and keeping it and overlapping is like uh, once the curve is created, how much the overlap on the both side of the curves. So, and uh, here is the offset. So I just, I don't want the offset from the, 
uh, lines like from here the, it if i just keep it as a right uh, 3.5 and 3.5 on this one they uh, create the offsets um fr uh, from reference this one so i don't want this i just want on the above exact on the same like a coincidence so and you can the pre preview also so 50 is too much uh, let us say i reduce 20 25 okay okay let's say 14 and i just reduce this 10 meter this is also 10 meter So we are able to uh, create this one. Even we can adjust our curves, but it's like a, it taking only a minimum fifty here for their solutions. Or we can change as a circular, uh, like a circular fillet here. Uh, let me connect one more. Let us say I just want to connect these two select the directions enter and this times i am selecting a circular fillet uh 20 okay preview and it's giving me perfectly curve okay so it depends like what kind of curves you want and this is how you can connect your alignments and it's very useful while you creating your uh, intersections and ramps loops also so it's really great tools uh, th through this by using uh, you can connect your alignments easily so this is uh, all about uh, today's weekly insights i hope you like this one and it's really useful for you Uh, for more videos and uh, updates, do subscribe our channels, Capricor Technology Private Limited, and likes and comments. If you like the insights or if you have any questions regarding that, you can comment or you can mail me on my uh, mail ID uh, that is rajendra.mina at the rate of capricor.com or you can call me, uh, which are uh, visible on your screens. Thank you.